Hello, I just wanted to make a brief quick start guide with the editing levels and stuff. So here we have um the game loaded like normal. Now the first thing you do is um edit the top map or add a train. So there are lots of different ways to do this. But I like highlight. But here's regular. Regular you could just change once a lot of time. I'm just undoing these with Ctrl Z. So if we go to highlight, we can pick any part of the level we like. Say we like this part, we can highlight it. Click copy. Now, and when we click paste, highlight paste, we can left click, show us the preview of where it's going to go. When we like a spot, we can right click, and then that place is there. there. So we could do that with any part, any size. It gotta be. Let me put it there. And that doesn't look great, but that's good enough for our purposes for a demonstration. Now, um, after you edit the train, you can also edit the cameras. Now, um, the cameras are pretty easy to edit. You just drag them. Now, if you don't want to change every single camera, if you don't want to change every camera, you can go to level and clear camera map horizontal. What that does is it sets the upper and lower boundary for you to max. So you see everything, the whole level. Now, you can also change entities. What you guys might know is sprites. So entities, you can drag around. And um, if you have clicked this button on entities, you a pop up appears and you can select the new one. And once you hit apply, you can see that it changes in the lava. Besides entities, you also add entrances. Now, entrances normally there's one for the halfway too, but in this, the entrance is tied to the halfway mark, so I, the entrance always appears there. But like, say, this is coming on a bonus line. So if we have edits locked in, we could drag and get somewhere else. So you appear somewhere else. And you can see um, FCA 165, that it changes when you drag this. Now it's 1043. Besides entrances, you can also edit bananas. And now, um, you can move or drag them, and you can press this. This is a drop down of every single banana in the game that you could select. So, let's see what we got one. And this box here shows a preview of whatever banana pattern you select it is. And this box right here will show you what banana pattern you currently have is. So by hitting apply, the banana changed to that one. And then we can load the game. Quick one to cover in a different video. We can load the game and see that all of our changes have been applied. Ah, fell. Okay. That is it for this demo.